Hey there, this is Khadran Agronics Made Easy. Recently, my channel completed its second year successfully. On this occasion, I would like to thank each and every one of my subscribers and well-wishers who have been supporting me regularly. Thank you, one and all. On this special note, today I will be making a very special thing. That is, a rechargeable Bluetooth speaker. As you can see, it's completely made of wood. I won't be showing you how to make this wooden box, but I'll be showing you what all circuits go inside and how they get connected. So as you can see, there's a switch here, toggle switch, which can be used to switch on and off the speaker. And special thing is, Bluetooth mode. When you switch it on, it'll say Bluetooth mode to tell you that it's switched on. And when you pair it with a mobile, it'll say pair. That means it's paired with a mobile. Similarly, there's an LED here, which will tell you how much power the speaker still has. If the LED blinks 4 times, it means it has 100% charge. If it blinks 3 times, it's 75% charge. 2 times is 50 and 1 time it means 25% charge. And also, if you see there's a mini USB port here which is used to charge the speaker. And this USB pin can also be used to charge your mobile when you really need it. As you see, uh, the box looked really retro style in an old fashioned way. But the sound which comes outside the speaker is really loud. So let's not waste time and let's see how to make it. Let's get started. For this, we'll be using the 3 watt amplifier from our last video. Along with this, you'll also need this power bank. Anyone will do, but I'm using here a Zebronix Power Grid series power bank as I've been using this for nearly a year and thought I would give it a new life. And you'll need a stereo Bluetooth audio receiver like this one. It has a USB on one side and a 3.5mm audio jack on the other side. When you power this up, it'll start receiving audio from any Bluetooth enabled device through this 3.5mm jack. First we'll start by cutting away this USB cable from the amplifier, as we don't need it anymore. Separate the wires, strip the ends and keep it aside. Let's start working on the power bank first. This power bank has a special feature. When you charge or discharge it, the LED starts blinking. If it blinks 4 times, it's 100%. 3 times, it's 75%. If it blinks 2 times or 1 time, it means it has 50 and 25%. We'll identify the positive and negative pins of the USB and we'll solder two wires to these pins so that it'll make our work easier to connect the devices. And also, we'll replace this tiny SMB LED with a bigger 5mm blue color LED. To make the soldering comfortable, I'll remove the circuit outside the case. So as you can see, I have soldered 3 wires onto the board. There's one wire connecting to the negative terminal of the battery. This is the common negative terminal. The other wire, a positive wire is connected to the plus 5 volts of the USB. And there's one more wire connected to the positive terminal of the SMD LED. And I have removed the SMD LED so that both LEDs don't blink at the same time. The negative terminal of the battery will be a common terminal for both LED as well as the USB plus 5 volts. Now I'll fit the circuit back into the case and close it. And let's test it. As you can see, the new LED works great. And I also connected a series resistor to the LED so that the LED doesn't pull much current from the power bank. And the best part is, the LED only glows when the load is connected. And once the load is removed, the LED will automatically shut down after some time. Next, we'll open up this stereo Bluetooth receiver. We will solder two wires to the positive and negative terminals of this USB. I have replaced the black wire with this red wire as the first one broke. I'll cut a small notch into the case of this Bluetooth so that the wire can pass through. 
and we'll fit the circuit back into the case. Here we'll be using this small toggle switch to turn on and off the speaker. And for the cabinet, we'll be using this wooden box I built using few wood reapers. This also has a hole to fix the power bank, top part, and a hole to fit the LED and also the toggle switch. Before placing inside the cabinet, I'll insulate all the joints to avoid any short circuits. Now let's fit the LED and the power bank inside the box. As you can see, I have drilled small grooves near the LED hole so that the wires can sit inside these grooves. I will also fit the power bank inside the box. I will make sure the edge of the power bank aligns with the outer edge of the wood. I will connect the native wire of the power bank to the native wire coming from the amplifier as well as the native wire of the Bluetooth. Solder and insulate the joint. Now I will connect both the positive ends of the amplifier and the Bluetooth. Now connect the positive wire from the power bank to one end of the switch and the joint of positive ends to the center point of the switch. Solder the connections and you are good to go. Now as you can see when I turn on the switch the LED starts blinking. That means the circuit is working. Before proceeding further let's test the circuit. The name of the Bluetooth is yet M1 which can be easily detected in the mobile and it gets paired without any passcode. Once it's working, let's finish the cabinet. To hold the speaker, I'll be using this plastic piece from an old speaker. I have covered the front part of this plastic piece with some speaker cloth or you can use any thin cloth. I am using some tape to hold it temporarily as I stuck the cloth with some glue. I am using some glue to hold the speaker as well. I will also stick the power bank using some glue. This will prevent it from moving. Now the glue is set. I have also stuck two small wooden pieces towards this corner which will be helpful in closing the cabinet on the top. I have also stuck the switch. Now let's close the cabinet. As you can see the cloth is stuck tightly without any foldings. The bottom piece will go inside this wood and the top piece will be held by another piece of wood. Like this one. I have attached two screws to this on either side. These screws will go into the small wooden pieces on these corners. Now let's fix it using a screwdriver. You can use small PVC piece or plastic piece to cover the sides. I also used a smaller piece to cover the part near the power bank. All these pieces are stuck using some glue. You can make on and off indications beside the switch by making 1 and 0 marks using a screwdriver. Once everything is dry, you can sand the whole box using 100 grit first followed by a 320 grit sandpaper to smoothen the surface. After sanding, you can coat the whole wooden part of the box with clear varnish. Four to five coats with a gap of 24 hours between each coating should do. Now the rechargeable Bluetooth speaker is ready. As you can see, it looks and sounds great. 
So that's all for today. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, enjoy making. Bye bye. Oh